The person who's putting the content on Facebook always owns the information. This is their information. They own it. And you uh, they, won't sell they it? They often want to... No, of course not. I mean... Welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And this time we're going to be talking about uh, Apple. Um, once again, I had talked about Apple previously in regards to uh, privacy issues. And it's interesting because that happens to be uh, a related subject in regards to Steve Wozniak. Uh, the Apple co-founder, he says, get off Facebook. Um, and he says get off it for the very reason that there is a problem with the uh, the Apple watches and well the iPhones or as uh, people's privacy was being violated but let's take a look at this so Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak re recommends most people get off Facebook uh, he's 68 years old uh, engineer and entrepreneur he said this to TMZ in Washington uh, DC on Friday there are many different kinds of people, and for some, the benefits of Facebook are worth are worth the loss of privacy. <laughs> uh, but to many, like myself, my recommendation is to most people is you should figure out a way to get off Facebook. Uh, here's my thing about Facebook. I think Facebook is great to stay in contact with friends and family. I know old-fashioned letters or emails can do that, but it's it's kind of nice to have a place where you can uh, you can post some pictures or you know post some funny things that you've seen uh, and and be able to share that you know with you know maybe people that you used to work with um, you know friends and family members that may be you know in different states I think it's kind of neat uh, to be able to do something like that the problem is that people are getting way too personal on Facebook they share things that they probably shouldn't share um, and this is why you see people lose their jobs or maybe get arrested or, 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 or you know losing relationships or friendships because of some something stupid on Facebook um, there are just some things uh, that you should keep to yourself and <laughs> lo and behold you're looking at another social media thing right now, YouTube. And we we know that there are people that just get way too personal uh, on things on YouTube. And half the time, I think it's because they're looking for more, you know, clicks, uh, some clickbait stuff like, uh, yeah, I'm quitting YouTube or this is it, this is the end. You know, stuff like that where people are like, oh man, I gotta click this to find out what's going on. Uh, and then they come back later or something. Uh, or sometimes they just get into real stupid things and people's channels just take a dump. Um, I've got some videos uh, in regards uh, to that because uh, there was, um, uh, what was this? James Char James Charles was one, and um, oh man, that one other gamer that's kind of a sicko. Uh, <laughs> they're on, they're 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 under the Shep Ramble series, so uh, take a look. I've I've got them if you're uh, interested in finding out what all that was about. Um, you know, but as far as Facebook is whatever you make it to be. You can post a lot on it. You can post on it maybe only once in a while. Um, that's something that I kind of do. It's like once in a while I kind of post something on Facebook and then I just don't touch it. Um, but, uh, you know, I've got friends and family that are on it and sometimes I'll get a message on my phone, you know, such and such posted something and I'll go take a look. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. You know, and that to me, that's how I use Facebook. I just use it as a, you know, kind of a, you know, let's keep in touch type of thing. Uh, speaking uh, about Facebook, I do have a page set up for the uh, the channel uh, for Killer TV or Killer Television. I 
I did something with it to start off with, and then I just kind of like just didn't do anything with it. Do you guys think I should rebuild that? Because uh, the channel has got a lot more viewers now than what it did when I when I first started it. Um, do you think I should build build that back up? I mean, would you guys be interested in a killer TV Facebook page? Would you go to it? I don't know. I, would I just be wasting my time? I have no idea. Sometimes I think a lot of the social media stuff is a waste of time. I mean, you could spend all, you could waste an entire day just on social media. And I'm sure some people have. But I don't know. Let me know. If, if you think that would be worth doing, if you think that would, you would find that interesting, like what kinds of stuff would you like to see um, on the Killer TV Facebook page? You know, besides links to, you know, new shows or something like that. What, what kinds of things would you like to see? Let me know. Um, if you think it's worth it, eh, maybe we'll give it a shot. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Uh, anyway, Facebook and its competitors should give the option of privacy. Well, they do. They do give you the option for privacy. It's kind of like deep into the settings, but I mean, it's there. I mean, what you post doesn't come it's not like it's all public you can do it where it's private um where only certain friends uh you know like only family members or only family members and friends or everyone so there are uh there are options there people think they have a level of privacy they don't well no they do have a level of privacy and you know i just described it and i tested it out too i tested it out by uh, posting something uh, that was private, you know, for my friends and family only, and one that was not. And then I logged into, uh, looked at Facebook on another browser that didn't have my account just to see if it posted. And no, the one, the one thing that I made private for my friends and family only did not show up. So maybe I'm missing something. I don't know. Uh, Wozniak tells TMZ, let me pay a certain amount and you'll keep my data more secure and private than any, everyone else. Uh, where they're saying, why don't they give me a choice? Let me pay a certain amount of money and you'll keep my data more secure and private. Uh, yeah. If they start charging people for that, Facebook's going to go. Boom. It'll go the way of MySpace. Anyone remember MySpace? I am in the process of leaving Facebook, he says. It's brought me more negatives than positives. Apple has more secure ways to share things about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, they're more secure, especially since there's been privacy issues with the iPhones and the iWatches. Sounds like he's tooting his own horn or something. I don't know. I can still deal with old school email and text messages. Hey, how about writing something? I don't know. Um, users provide every detail of their life to Facebook. And Facebook makes a lot of advertising money off of this. I, see, I, can, I can agree there. You know, you're sitting there posting stuff and Facebook's making money with advertisements. But see, that's the thing. Don't post every detail of your life on Facebook. Make a blog. Make a private blog. You could do that. Was it like Blogger? Um, I know I've I've got a blog somewhere, and that's another thing that I haven't done. You guys think I should do a blog for the channel? I think I have one. I didn't do anything with it. Um, yeah, I, if you want to put like details of what's going on in your life, make a blog and set it up to where because you can set it up to where people have to log in with a password and in order to be able to see it do that um anyway the profits are all based on the user's info but the users get none of the profits back uh, i don't think we can stop it though but everything about you i mean they can measure your heartbeat with lasers now they can listen to you with a lot of devices who knows if my cell phone's listening right now well if it's an iphone they're probably listening to you <laughs> Um, in April, uh, Bloomberg found thousands of Amazon employees listen to what people say when they speak to their Alexa virtual assistant. 
which is built into devices like Amazon Echo. Amazon told Bloomberg at the time that employees listened to an extremely small sample to improve user experience, but that's still invasion of privacy. Doesn't matter if it's a small, you're still violating the privacy of a, whatever small percentage, you're still violating their privacy. You know, that's like a thousand people and you go and rob like maybe five people. Well, I only stole from a small percentage. It's okay. No, it's not. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, Tim Cook, the CEO of Apple, has also pointed uh, fingers at much of Silicon Valley. Well, of course, you know, Apple's going to point fingers the other way. They're not going to take responsibility for anything. Why would they do that? Lately, it seems the industry is becoming better known for a less noble innovation. The belief you can claim credit without accepting responsibility. Blah, 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 blah. We see it every day now with every data breach. Blah, blah, blah. And if you want to read this, you can. <laughs> I will have a link in the description uh, section. I always do that um, because I believe in quoting my sources where I get the information. That way you can take a look at it for yourself. And, you know, there's links on here that take you to other types of things and yeah, you you might be interested in digging into this a little bit more deeper than what i did so you know and there's a video here you can watch the video if you want but yeah that's why i include this stuff so that way uh you guys can check it out on your own but um hey other than that what do you think about all this uh do you think steve wozniak's right do you think you should get off facebook uh how much do you use facebook once in a while you know what one thing that really bothers me um, on Facebook is when people say that they're quitting Facebook. I'm going to quit Facebook. I'm going to stay away from it for a while. Blah, 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 blah. It, almost as if they're trying to draw attention to themselves. Here, here's the thing. Just don't say anything. Just say, yeah, yeah just don't really say anything. Just don't post. That's what I did. I mean, I just... I just decided I just really didn't want to, you know, mess with uh, Facebook much anymore. And I didn't make any post about it. I just stopped posting. And every, every now and then I kind of post something. But I just, yeah, I just, uh, just don't use it. I just, I didn't see the need to try to, you know, draw attention to myself or, you know, get people to say, oh, man, I'm going to miss you or, you know, whatever. It's just, uh, yeah, just stop using it. That's all. But anyway, I don't know. What do you think? Do you, how much do you use Facebook? Did you recently uh, get off Facebook? Do you feel more free now? Um, maybe you use a different alternative to Facebook. Are you still on MySpace? <laughs> I'll be impressed if you're still on Google Plus since they're not around anymore. At least from what I understand, they're not around. Um, maybe uh, you stick with Instagram or Twitter or, or something. Yeah, let me know. Let me know in the comments. And if you think I should be spreading out more on social media, uh, like should I be spreading Killer TV to Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and, I don't know, Snapchat? I have the app for Snapchat. See, the thing is, is I'm an old dog, okay? I'm an old dog. But you can teach an old dog new tricks. <laughs> I learn quickly. So... And I've messed around with Snapchat. My daughter and I would send some snaps uh, back and forth. And it was kind of fun. And then we just kind of got tired of it. But um, let me know. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to get you guys, my, my viewers, uh, I'm trying to get you involved uh, with the community that we have here, the killer community, uh, the killer nation that we've got. We're building something together. So... What would you like? Uh, would, would if you wanted me to get involved with Twitter? What would you like to see? What kinds of things would you like to see? Um, if you would like for me to get involved with Snapchat, what kinds of things would you like to see? What would interest you? Um, same thing with uh, Instagram. As far as uh, pictures, what, you know, did you want to see like a picture of what I might be working on, or you know what? Let me know. Let me know what, what you think. I, I'm trying to get you guys involved uh, with the channel and with what goes on because, hey, I can do stuff on my own, 
but it's a lot more fun if we build things up together. So anyway, let me know and um, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I love subscribers <laughs> and uh, you'll know when a new video uh, comes up on the channel. But other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you on another rambling video.